<laughs> Once upon a time, there was a colorful kingdom nestled along a fertile river valley that flowed between two lush and towering mountains. In Cromeville, its citizens were free to sing in the treetops, la, 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 la. dance by the rippling waters, and tell magnificent stories by the flickering firelight. Once upon a time, no corner of Cromeville was untouched by art, for its people had built their fine kingdom out of their wildest imaginations. They fashioned desks out of toadstools, they made tutus out of tulips, and crowns out of clay, feasts out of fiddleheads for very special days. Then, tragedy struck these peaceful people. <gasps> the daily rains suddenly stopped altogether. Oh no! The villagers tried rain dances to invite the skies to open. Hey, 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 and the children made up nursery rhymes to bring the flowers back to life. But nothing seemed to keep the great drought away. Soon, families could no longer feed their children. Mommy, I'm hungry. People across the land began to die of thirst. <coughs> after, after this natural disaster took the lives of the kingdom's beloved leaders, King and Queen Fairchild themselves, it fell to their cruel and heartless son to rule the land. As a boy, King Richard had been painfully shy, so much so that he cooped himself up all his life high in his towering castle. Lonely and isolated, over time, King Richard grew to hate all art. As the new king's first order of business, he made a great proclamation. The citizens of Cromeville shall no longer waste their voices on songs, spend their energy on silly dances, paint pointless pictures, or write worthless books. Cromeville remained nothing but a gray, dismal place for many years to come, until something magical and mysterious occurred. One evening, in the darkest hour of the night, a sparkling light appeared. It sputtered and bubbled and circled around the frozen artist's forms, until it came to land, right in the center of King Richard's head while he slept. It was the art fairy. <laughs> What's happening to me? Oh, that's so cool. <gasps> 
I like the sound of red. Oh, yeah, we used to eat that. You can eat the beet and it gives you a red color. What can we do with potatoes and colors and potatoes and colors and colors? And what could we do? Do you have an idea? Do you think? Paint it. Paint. Paint. <gasps> paint. Raise your hand if you'd like to come up and paint a little bit of the sidewalk. Potatoes! <laughs> next to our painter friend. This, this is very exciting. Okay. A potato. <laughs> but I, I can't remember what else we had. I can't remember what else. Oh, do you hear that? It is the wind. Whoa. that we practice. 
So my name's Maggie, and I'm a puppeteer. So I create puppets of all different styles, um, and I also put on puppet shows and create stories with community members, and we create puppet shows together. My name's Natalie, and I am what you call a dance artist and choreographer. So I make dances, and I make moves, and I show them off. <laughs> and I'm Mara. I'm a flute player, as you saw, and I'm also a writer, and uh, thrilled to be part of Something Collective. That's what we call our group. And I'm Juliana. I'm a visual artist. I do drawings, I paint, I also do sculpture and some embroidery as well. And uh, I do also uh, green graffiti. So if you have read the Art Grows Community graffiti with moss on that wall over there, I'm responsible for that as well. My name is Flick. I'm a uh, media artist, which means I make stuff with video and computers and animation, and I did all the, the technical video stuff that you saw. The reason why we're here is that we've been invited to be the artist in residence for three years here at this community center. So that means that we get to use this space at no cost to us in exchange for creating community art. What do you think our world would be like if we didn't have art? What would it be like if we didn't have any sort of art? Yes. Yeah. Sad. Sad. Mm. Black, white, gray. It would be ugly. Mm. Right? Horrible. Horrible. So we've got all these <gasps> negative words. Oh, no. um, what else? Oh, it, would gray. Gray. it would be gray. It would be gray. Scary and old times. Right? Scary? It might be like scary, like old times. Uh, what? Horror. horror. Does, oh, it, does so anybody ever feel like it's, it's um, hard to be an artist? It's a little bit no. scary. Not scared. scared. No. Wait, raise your hand if you feel oh, like it is. No, no. No? You don't feel that way. Okay, that's, that's good. Scary. So thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.